Hello viewers and welcome to today's quest. We have Legends. You can begin this quest by speaking to the Legends Guard just outside of the Legends Guild northeast of Ardoin. For this you're going to need to have completed the Heroes Quest, Family Crest, Shiloh Village, Underground Pass, Waterfall Quest, have 107 quest points. For skills you're going to need 56 magic, 52 mining, and 50 in woodcutting, thieving, strength, smithing, agility, and crafting, as well as 45 herb lore and 42 prayer. Recommendations at least 65 combat. Some items you're going to need is going to be a machete which can be obtained during the quest, two gold bars, hammer, rope, um, rune, dragon, or infernal hatchet, axe, woodcutting axe, a lock pick, you can bring more if you want to just in case you might fail, a pickaxe which I am currently wielding, vial of water, adragale, and snakeweed. We're going to be getting those on quest because I completely forgot to save any from the last time I did a quest. Oopsies. You're going to want to have cut the following gems. Opal, jade, red topaz, sapphire, emerald, ruby, and diamond. You're going to also need a soul rune, mine rune, two law runes, earth rune, an unpowered orb, as well as runes to cast any of the charge orbs twice if you opt for the good path. So you need to be on the standard spell book. Charcoal, you may need multiple pieces, can be obtained during the quest. Papyrus, at least three of them. You can fail, so you may need more of them. Can be obtained on the quest as well. If your skills are just barely enough to do this quest, you're going to want to bring a super restore because a few of the things you can fail and it will reduce your stats, which may make it difficult to continue on with the quest. I would recommend some things that boost your skills if your skills are running a little bit low. Bring weapon, armor, and food. Not during the first part though. I recommend graceful and stamina potions. Anti-poison of low combat. A way to get to the Legends Guild quickly, as well as a way to get over to the Kramja Brimhaven area quickly too. So I'll be using the Ardoin teleport, as well as chartering a ship from Ardoin to Brimhaven. Alternatively, if you have fairy rings, you can use BLR to get to the Legends Guild and CKR to get just by Shiloh. If using ships and pay carts like me, make sure you bring sufficient GP. It'll be 230 GP a run from Ardoin to Shiloh. We're going to be fighting a level 92, a level 100, a level 106, and a level 187 three times. So talk to the Legends Guard to start. Choosing chat options 3, 1, and 2. Can I speak to someone in charge? Can I go on the quest? Yes, I'd like to talk to Grand Vizier Urkel. Head north and enter the first door on your west. We get to speak with him, choosing chat option one and one. Yes, actually, what's involved? Yes. So if you need an extra thing of papyrus, here it is on the table. And if you search the cupboards, you'll find a machete, but I'm bringing a red topaz one, so I don't need that. Now we're going to want to go to the Karazi jungle, which is just south of the Shiloh village. So I'm going to be running over and uh, boating it. To start, my graceful and pickaxe are equipped. I'm bringing the papyrus, the hatchet, the machete, charcoal, lockpick, soul, mind, earth, and law runes, two gold bars, the hammer, the paper the quest giver gave me, food in case I suck, GP, prayer potion, anti-poison, and stamina potion. If you need any of this, there are banks not only in Ardoin, but in Shiloh Village. I'm gonna throw the gems in my bank because uh, we don't need those right away. Free up some inventory space would be nice. We are going to go south from the docks where there is a cart waiting for us. Okay, right click, 
pay fair. Side note while I bank my gems, if you need any additional papyrus and charcoal, you can get it from the general store here in Shiloh. Okay, so now we need to cut our way through here, which if I remember is a pain in the butt. If I can even remember how to get through here, geez. Nope, not that way. Come on, let me through. Well, while we're sitting here training wood cutting, To make things a little quicker on yourself, you can right click Radimus's notes and do complete in each of the west, middle, and east section of the jungle. And it will automatically complete your map. So now I'm doing the path that I'm gonna backtrack on myself a little bit, so I'm gonna head over to the eastern side. Okay, now I just need to do western, so we're gonna run over that way to the west. Right click complete and Okay, now we can get out of here. Same way that we came is perfectly fine. Use the notes on a forester and choose chat option one. Go ahead, make a copy. Okay, now we want to get back in there. I don't know why. Now there's totem poles throughout this jungle. We want to go find one. So 
Sorry, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit here. And swing our bull roar around it. And there he is. Choose chat option one all the way through. One, I was hoping to attract the attention of a Karazi tribe member. I've been sent by the Legends Guild. Can you get everyone together? Is there any way I could help? How do we make the totem pole? I'll go find Angadalu. Angadulu? Angadadulu? Now we're gonna wanna head north and be in the western side. There's a bunch of rocks. We need to find one that's mossy. So you're going to want to search the mossy rock and crawl through. Now we go a little southeast. We're going to see a firewall. Do not touch it. Investigate it. After this part, just right click examine again and choose options one and one. One, how can I extinguish the flames? And one, where do I get pure water from? Okay, now we can go back and do the bowl roar. Now, if at any point your bull roar doesn't attract him like it should, either just readjust because pathfinding here sucks, or look for the tribesman in a green skirt. Choose chat options four, five, and five. Hi, there he is, okay. Need some pure water to douse some magic flames. Oh, where is the sacred pool of yours? Kind of vessel. So now we're going to want to go somewhere where there's an anvil. I have a glory on me, so I'm just going to head over to the Varrock anvils. So while you're running to an anvil, undoubtedly there's a bank nearby, make sure to have your hammer and two gold bars with you. Make a gold bowl. If you want to make multiple, just get two more gold bars and use the drop thing. Okay, we no longer need the hammer. Okay, now you're going to want to make sure you have your notes. I'm keeping the sketch just in case, because who knows. A lock pick. You want uh, your one earth, one mind, one soul, two law worms. You're going to want each of those cut gems. The Jade, Opal, Reds, Topaz, Sapphire, Emerald, Ruby, Diamond. You're going to want that gold bowl with you that we just made. You don't need your hammer anymore as you only needed it to make the bowl. You're going to want to make sure that your prayer points are recharged. Bring your Restore Prayer Potion just in case because failing this can lessen your stats just a touch. And if you feel like using anything that boosts, then bring something that boosts. Why not? As well as your way to teleport out. I'm just using glory. 
And I'm still bringing my graceful because we don't technically have to kill anything yet. So I'm gonna make my way back to Ardoin. And boat on over. And return to Shiloh the same way we did the first time. Now we just need to head ourselves to the jungle, use our bull roar near a totem, and have our bull enchanted, choosing chat option one to do so. Chat option one, yes please! We're just gonna oom each other. Now we're going to go to Little Sacred Water Pool. If you use the same path that I did to get into the jungle, it'll be just to your west. Right click use your machete on the tall reeds and then right click the reed, use it on the water pool. Okay, now we need to go into the cave again. To the east there's going to be some bookcases right here along the northern wall. Go to the eastmost bookcases that's missing most of its books. You're going to want to search it and we're going to be able to squeeze through. Yes, I love crevices! No, I don't. That's a lie. Okay, go towards the door. We're gonna wanna lockpick that door. Now you're gonna wanna smash this boulder to bits. And this boulder to bits. And why not this boulder to bits too? Open this ancient gate.
Now in this room you're going to see that there are death wings. If you want to take off one of your achievement diaries, kill one of them. Otherwise ignore them. Now we're going to head southwest. Just follow the path and then northwest. And we're going to get to a jagged wall. So we're going to want to jump it. Now we're going to want to search the marked wall here, just to the southwest. And yes, you want to read it. Now on this marked wall, first you're going to want to use your soul rune, then your mind rune, then your earth rune, then both of your law runes. And yes, go through. Okay, now what we want to do is we're going to want to use on these carved rocks, each of these water pools has a carved rock on it. We're going to want to use our gems on it. So we're going to start with the northernmost gem going clockwise. That is going to be our opal. Then going east, next one is going to be our jade. Then keep going east and south. Next one is going to be our red topaz. Southeast is going to be our carved rock. Next one is going to be our diamond. And then our ruby. And then lastly, our emerald. Whee! And hey look, we have a book. So we're going to pick that up and we're going to give that a read. Okay, this is where we're going to teleport out and prepare for a fight. So we're going to do our final preparations at the Shiloh Bank because it makes more sense, it's closer. But we're going for a range style because the final phase of this boss can be safe spotted so that's probably what I'm going to do because I'm a chicken. Okay, so I'm bringing the notes, the sketch, the bull roar, the machete, and the hatchet, as well as the golden bowl lockpick 
and the binding book as well as food your prayer points are going to be drained at the start of each of these phases i think or at least the first time so we're bringing prayer potions because we're going to need that make sure everything's charged up if you have stuff that needs charges make sure to have an emergency teleport of some sort that's on my necklace so that's perfectly fine my necklace that doesn't have combat stats Shh. we'll pay attention to that and of course food so now we're going to head back to the cave if for some reason teleporting out drained your water just use your machete on a reed again and refill it up and unlike me remember to bring a stamina potion but let's head back and magically trying to enter the jungle again my bowl has been emptied so yep i'm going to be making a stop by the water hole to refill it up Okay, now onwards to the cave. So we're going to come back to this flame wall here. We're going to use our golden bowl on the firewall. And then make sure not to attack him. We're going to use our binding book on him. No attacky. I'm just gonna keep protect from me uh melee on and we're gonna kill him if at any point you take too long to kill him and he despawns you just need to leave this area and then re-enter using the water bowl and use the book of binding on the dude again Now make sure to right click and talk to Angadulu, choosing chat option 1, 1, 1, 2, and 3. Need to collect some yummy seeds. How do I grow a yummy tree? What will you do now? How do I get out of here? Okay, thanks. 
exit and use a bull roar by a totem again. I'm gonna go use the totem to the east of the watering hole. Choose chat option one, two, and three. He's free, but he's possessed high demon. I killed it. What do I do now? Okay, thanks for your help. Use your bowl of water on the seeds. want to get more reed and refill our bowl. So topaz on the reeds, reed on the water. Oh no! We screwed something up. Let's return to that totem. So swing your bowl roar again. Choose chat option one, two, two, and five. The water pool's right up, but I need more water. Oh, uh, where's the source of pure water? If I look for the source, could you help me? Ah, okay, thanks for your help. Okay, so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get a stamina potion for one. I brought way too many shark. We need to go get us some herbs. Those two herbs I was talking about that I completely forgot to get some earlier. Yeah, we're gonna go back and get some. So we're gonna head over to Taibo and I, just north of here. So leave Shiloh and go south to where the fencing is. Go all the way to the west and then north and you're gonna wanna go over a bridge and just keep going north.
So north, north, and we're gonna stay around the coast area. Okay, where you see this main enclosure here, on the southern area of it, you see these vines with the marshy jungle vine. We're gonna to wanna to search these marshy jungle vine. It's gonna have one of our herbs. Might take a few minutes. Nope. Snakeweed. Next, we're gonna go all the way northeast. We're gonna to wanna to head to the northern shore where the harpy bug swarms are and we're gonna to wanna to search the trees there for our other herb. So search the palm trees. Okay, now we're gonna head back over to Shiloh Bank and prepare for the next bit. And if you haven't already, by default muscle reflex, make sure to clean those two herbs that we got as we're going back. Okay, for this next trip, we're going to be doing the short path. So we are going to need, I'm bringing the notes. I don't think we need the sketch at this point, but I'm bringing it because I'm paranoid. Bring both the Adrigale, the snakeweed, as well as the vial of water. Actually, at this point, you can mix the two of them into the vial of water for the bravery potion. You're going to want to bring something to do any of the charge orbs. If you choose to take the longer path, you're going to need to double that amount. Same with the unpowered orb. Bring our gold, our blessed gold bowl, as well as the tree seeds, the yummy tree seeds, a lock pick. You may need two just in case we screw up. A rope might need two just in case you screw up. A pickaxe, your combat equipment again. I'm doing, I'm still, I'm sticking with range. Food, prayer potions, either one of the good axes that I recommended, just Runa Dragon, as well as a machete and a pickaxe. And now we have to go back into the cave and we're going to go back to where the gems are.
where we put the gems in the little pools. So go to the eastern bookshelf along the north wall again. Squeeze your bookshelf. Lock pick on door and hope you don't screw up because you only brought one. to bits boulders. path of the cave again to the south and then as it curves up around to the northwest and then climb over the jagged wall thankfully this time though runes are not needed Have to search the mark wall. I would like to risk the outline of the door. Yes, go through. Now we're going to want to go to the north. And we're going to see a gate here. We're going to switch over and cast our charge orb spell that we've chosen at the gate. Whee! Now if you've forgotten a rope or you need more rope, just smash a barrel for some rope, but be warned that a monster could spawn that you'll have to defeat. Now we see this winch here. We're going to want to use our rope on that winch, drink the bravery potion, and climb down. I'm not scared. Let's go. If you plan on going the long route or the good path, don't touch that hat. 
Now we have a bunch of things we need to kill. Now you want to follow the path climbing over rocks to get down this little hill thing. You fall really interesting here. Did I just fall all the way down? Yep. Okay, there's gonna be skeletons of three different combat levels. We're gonna wanna kill one of each. So here's the 106. Now we got a chunk of crystal, now we have to find the other th levels. Okay. Lastly, we're looking for a lower level one. Hi, level 92. In the northeast, there's the furnace. Use your lumps on the furnace. Now we're going to go to the middle of the room. And this searchable mossy rocks right here, we're going to want to use it on there. Head to the southeast. Gonna rotate my camera to the south so we can see this better. Now, right here at this recess, you want to use the crystal heart on it. 
Now we'll be able to walk through the barrier. Now to the west, there's going to be some boulders. We're going to want to push them. First two, and then one, one, one. Who's asking? How can I know that? I'll do what I must to get to the water. Okay, I'll do it. Okay, since we're doing it the fast way as opposed to the long way, run back up the hill. Climb up over the rocks all the way to the hat again. If you want to do the quote-unquote good path, leave, teleport out somehow, go back to the firewall in the cave, use a dark dagger on Ungadulu, go back through the cave using a charge orb to open the door again, push the boulder, don't tell him about losing the dagger. What you want to do is you want to cast the holy force spell to reveal his true form, kill him, then push the western boulder and collect your water. You want to make sure to equip the dagger that you were given. And try to take that hat again. So don't go through his dialogue. Right click attack him. Make sure that your chat says that your dagger glows brightly. Now we're going to go back down the ridge. Failing most of the time again. So re-equip whatever weapon you had, push, he takes the dagger, your prayer points get drained right off the bat, and same thing as before, kill him.
push the boulder. Fill your bowl with a sacred water. And then we can use that with the seeds, if we haven't already. Okay, so we're gonna teleport back out and then make our way back to the Krazi jungle. Now we're going to go to the bank. We're going to keep all the stuff that we have been so far, except for the stuff to traverse through the cave, because we're done with that. So bulwark, combat equipment, axe and machete. If you brought your pick, your pickaxe and your lockpick can go away. If you retained a rope, that can go away. I'm bringing a stamina potion because I want to stay in my combat gear. Bring your boosts if you need them. Oh, and prayer potions, food, all your combat stuff. And we're going to go back to the jungle. First we want to go and refill our bowl now that we've replenished this. So once again use your reed on it. Now there's fertile soil right there but I'm going to get attacked by a wolf so I'm going to go over here instead. No wolves. Yay! So we're gonna want to use the tree seeds on the fertile soil. Once leaves are on it, use your bowl with it. Now use your axe on it. Once that's happened, use your axe on it again. And one more time. And then we have a totem pole. So now we can lift it. Now it is possible to fail this by either outright failing to plant the seeds or by failing to cut it quick enough. If at any point you run out of tree seeds and you need more, just go back to the cave and speak to the dude for more. Now go to where there's a totem pole. Now some quick things before we start, make sure to turn on your protect from melee prayer as he keeps popping up and doing damage to you. If you chose the path that I did, we're gonna have to defeat the three skeletons and then the demon. If you chose the quote unquote good path, you just have to kill the demon. Use the totem in your inventory on the totem on the ground and kill all the things.
Okay, go ahead and use your Yomi. Our friend here is going to give us a Gilded Totem. If he doesn't appear, use a Bull Roar. Okay, our last trip back to Ardoin. So I'm going to teleport out because I can't be bothered to chop through jungle. Now with the notes and the totem in hand, we're going to return to the Legends Guild. Alternatively, if you've unlocked fairy rings, it's BLR. Okay, go to Radimus. Mm 
Okay, go inside the guild. Speak with him again. Sure, I'll train now. You can choose to do this now or later, so... Four lots of 30,000 XP in any of the skills offered to you. The ones you can choose is either attack, defense, strength, hit points, prayer, magic, woodcutting, crafting, smithing, herb lore, agility, or thieving. Congratulations, you've completed the Legends Quest. You're awarded four quest points, access to the Legends Guild, and four lots of 30,000 XP in any of the skills offered to you. You can now charge your skills necklace or combat bracelet at the Legends Guild or the Fountain of Rune and access to the Karazi jungle if you're just doing this for RFD. And there's also a vine shortcut into it if you have 79 agility. Radimus will also provide you with a replacement dark dagger. If you right click and investigate it, you can switch the appearance between dark or glowing. There's also a shop upstairs in which you can purchase a Legends cape from. Okay, I hope you enjoy your awards. Thank you very much for joining me for the Legends quest. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, feel free to give feedback in the comments below or just to say hi. I may not respond, but I do read all of my comments. Feel free to follow the links to my socials below and drop by Twitch to say hi and see exactly how boring I can be. Tap that subscribe button if you want to see what I'm up to on YouTube. And as always, thank you for watching. I hope you all take care and I hope you guys see you guys for the next video. Until then, stay safe and ciao!